But one thing I will point out at the end of that game is we said, did Hutchinson opt out, you know, having fun because he, did, he didn't have a – he didn't. He, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't have a. He, he yeah. wasn't a factor. Yeah, it wasn't a factor. I was just but if you saw what happened at the third and fourth quarter of that game, Hutchinson was out and Hassan Haskins was out. Harbaugh took him out of the game. Yeah. The last thing they were going to do yeah. is get yeah, those kids hurt, hurt yeah, exactly. when they're ready for the next level. Yeah. Because the be game was essentially over. Big time picks. I mean, which is what should have been done. And all you need to do is just look at poor Matt Corral today. Oh, let me hit this subject before we'll take a break and then phone calls. Matt Corral of Ole Miss says, I'm going to play in the Sugar Bowl, right? Mm -hmm. And I didn't have a single problem with that. Good for you. That's what you want to do. You're saying, I'm not going to opt out. I'm a football player. I want to be there for my teammates. Absolutely fine. Just as fine as Kenny Pickett's decision to not play because that's what he said was best for him. And if he is comfortable in that decision – and he feels his teammates are comfortable in him making that decision, that's what he's allowed to do. In the same way, Lincoln Riley was allowed to tell the media, I'm not going to be the head coach of LSU, folks. And the next day, he's the head coach of USC. (laughs) In the same way, it's allowed for Brian Kelly to tell Notre Dame, I understand that we've got an opportunity to make the college football playoffs, and we have an opportunity to win a national championship this year if results break a certain way. But I'm going to a spot where I feel is better for me and my family. (laughs) My family. family. You know, or me and my ability to get a new challenge and win in a way that I could not hear. Where, you know, in Louisiana State, Provost might be more of a turnstile than a stop sign like at Notre Dame. Fine for those guys. So why is it not fine for a college football player with a huge future, like the two Ohio State wide receivers, to say, I'm not playing. I don't want to get hurt. What's the problem with that? You know I love Des. Like, uh, I, I love Desmond Howard. I mean, he's one of my favorite people on the planet. Him agreeing with Kirk Herbstreet yeah, when Herbstreet said on yeah. ESPN, uh, uh, you know, prior to the Rose Bowl, that he thinks that f- kids today don't love football as much because they they don't want to. No, what, what does that mean? Brian Kelly doesn't love football as much because he's doing something best for him. Right now, I know the difference between that is a player is withholding his services and a coach is just changing for whom his services are being rendered. And a fact check. Right, which the players don't get. Right. Which the NIL deals are leveling some sort of a playing field in a way. But when I saw Matt Corral on those crutches, I'm like, that is so sad. But I I wasn't going to criticize. Who's to criticize? That's what he wanted to do. He wanted to play. Right. And the reason why, and him being on crutches, Jalen Smith's professional career essentially maybe being over now when it could have been going for years Mm -hmm. and how it got started late. No one wants to be that. Jake Butt, one of my favorite Michigan yeah. players. Yep. He's not in the NFL right now. He got hurt in a bowl game, too. He could have withheld his services in that bowl game that wasn't clearly, you know, for all the marbles. Someone used so, Willis McGahee as an example of someone who went and played. Yeah. And it, but for as great as Willis McGahee was in the NFL, imagine if he had not sustained that injury. How much you could have been talking about maybe never, the greatest of all time. Ever know. You never know. The idea that players are letting anybody down because they withhold their services in something they're not being paid for to make sure that they are healthy enough to be paid as much as possible for their services to be rendered professionally is insane to that be merited for criticism. Come on. (laughs) Come on. And an education is extremely valuable, and I'm excited for anybody that gets the most out of their education at a school, an institution of higher learning. And I understand that that is 
what is being given to a player in exchange for the services rendered. But that is just an ancient, ancient, passe way of looking at amateur athletics in the day and age where there are billions on the table, billions to be made in future arrangements, millions being made by coaches who can just walk in to a locker room and say, I'm out. After texting them the night before, I want to see you at 7 in the morning. (laughs) So I could tell you in five minutes that I'm out, just so I could say I saw you face to face. And that's Brian Kelly's prerogative, contractually. And he's gone. A player doesn't want to play because they don't want to wind up like Matt Corral and crutches doesn't mean he doesn't love the sport. It means he loves his future in the sport more. Is this so wrong? Not to me. I don't think so either. Not to me. I don't think so either. And one day when Michigan's playing in a game that isn't for the college football playoff because that day will come hopefully not for a while Mm -hmm. but uh will i be disappointed when a player who is really good says i'm out yeah but will i sit there and say to hell with him he doesn't love football he's (laughs) on michigan he's letting me down as a 50 some odd year old man who wants his school to win (laughs) who the hell am i you know (sighs) but hutch didn't opt out of the game Oh, I missed that. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.